Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris and today I'm thinking about making some different recipes to show you guys some examples of what I might be making around the house when I can't actually leave the house as often as I'd like to. So we're going to get started on that, but first I need to show you guys what the squirrels did. Come on. And this is what it looks like outside my house right now, April 16th, 2020. So I got up today and uh, I found this on my porch, all torn to shreds here. And it was from the company Good Snacks. And they have these, these bars here, chocolate mint, blueberry, uh, peanut butter, chocolate, uh, birthday. And who knows what other ones they had because it looks like the squirrels came over and helped themselves to what was uh, in here. It looks like they might have taken about eight bars. So if you're in my neighborhood and you see a, a squirrel with a vegan chocolate bar in their mouth, well, you know where they got them from. So this is a variety pack. It's They're all vegan, non-GMO, non-soy. There are 12 in a pack and there's five in here. So they took seven bars. On the bright side, we got some more bars. We got these from uh, Mezcla. We have Peruvian cocoa peanut butter. They're pretty light too compared to the other ones. Japanese matcha vanilla crunch. Mexican uh, chipotle hot chocolate. That sounds really good. Okay, so I feel like you've seen me do this a bunch of times, but I'm just gonna show you again. It's gonna be a tiny bit different because I'm out of some stuff. But I'm making a smoothie and I normally have this smoothie first thing I eat of the day. Like uh, this is pretty much my breakfast. All right, so I got frozen banana in there. I've got some fresh blueberries. I've got some flaxseed, some flaxseed in there. I normally wouldn't have to put flaxseed in there because there's flaxseed in my protein powder of choice, which is this one right here. But unfortunately, it's empty. We're out. I got this in my vegan cuts box. I'm gonna try this one out. It's a chocolate protein, complete organic plant protein. All right, so we're just gonna take that, throw that in there. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna put some of this peanut butter in there. The only ingredients in here are just peanuts and salt. And that's it, so I keep my peanut butter in the refrigerator so it's not too gooey. And I have Oatly, my plant milk of choice. I like the oat milk that is low fat because this one has zero oil in it. And here we go. My blend tech broke. All right, so this is a protein pack smoothie for you. And normally it would be delicious if I use my protein powder of choice. I didn't like this. This, this. I don't like the way it tastes. It doesn't taste good. And I normally don't usually go for the chocolate ones. Even though I love chocolate, I normally go for vanilla when it comes to protein powder. So. I don't like this, but I'm going to drink it. I'm wondering if I can put some of this uh, PB2 in it and make it taste a little bit better. That's why I find a protein powder that I like and I stick with it. Let's see if that made it taste any better. It is a little better actually. Okay, so I'm cooking these in my air fryer, the Fabulish Baked Falafel. So I'm gonna try to make a falafel wrap here. I'm out of lettuce, so I'm using some of this bagged pre-cut kale which isn't the greatest. Uh, I like to get these stems out of here and massage it down a little bit. I don't like it to be so fibrous. Indy doesn't like them, but Zeke does, so I'll give those to Zeke. I have half of an avocado, which is probably a day past uh, peak perfection, but still good, and a little bit of an onion here. And then I got the two sauces that they sent me, the smoked spices and the vegan uh, tzatziki, all vegan falafel. I have some um, spinach garlic pesto tortillas from Wegmans. These are vegan. Vegan. I don't have any pita, which would be ideal for a falafel sandwich, but we're gonna improvise. I like to cut it down like this. Do the onion, same way. Uh, tomato would be nice too. Don't have any tomato. Sorry guys. Well, sorry for me, I'm the one that has to eat it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a bowl like this bowl right here, put all of this in the bowl. Take a little bit of this tzatziki sauce right here. Mix that together. If I had a lemon or a lime, 
I would crush that into there too, but I don't have one. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this, we're gonna pour it right onto that tortilla shell. I'm also gonna use some of this smoked uh, spices. So like a nice smoky taste, it's not spicy, so. And then we'll put some of this avocado right on there. Just use that whole half of an avocado. This is gonna be a nice wrap here, like almost like a falafel burrito. And then we have our falafel, which we're gonna put right on there as well. And now we get to wrap it up. Nice and carefully so it doesn't rip. I'm gonna wrap that falafel burrito up, okay? And there you go. Falafel burrito for lunch. It is delicious. All right, we have the Breath Bones by V-Dog and they love them. Andy loves his and Ziki loves his. Breath Bones. Use Zombie Dog for a coupon code. <laughs> you like that, don't you? All right, I am going to make here some ramen noodles. I got boiling water. I got my ramen, which I got from Wegmans, and my Better Than Bouillon. So this is uh, for the broth. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, about that much. Let that dissolve in there like that. Um, I'm also gonna put a little bit of this uh, Worcester sauce, Edward and Sons, vegan Worcester sauce. A little bit of that, completely optional, but I just like the, the extra taste of the liquid smoke right there. I just have this all collagen liquid smoke. And then I put a little bit of uh, herbs and stuff in there. Basil, oregano, whatever you really wanna put. I put a little bit of uh, dried cumin in there. You can put garlic powder in if you want, but that should do it right there. This will make a nice tasty broth. It will expand in there. I'm only gonna use one little uh, bundle of the ramen, put that in there. And then we're gonna let that uh, cook down for about seven minutes or so. All right, I got some frozen veggies too. So I got some frozen peas and what's left of the frozen corn. Just gonna put the corn in there right like that. Now, since these are little frozen, they're almost like little frozen ice cubes. So when this is completely done, I'm gonna add some to the mix and then that's gonna cool it down enough to eat it and it's not gonna be too hot and it'll still cook these. Okay, it's just about done here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of these in here, probably like that. Not too much, probably a quarter a cup or less. And take it off the heat, it's ready to go. Now I'm just gonna drain the water, the liquid out. You can have yours however you want, if you like it real soupy. I don't like too much liquid in mine. All right, so there's the ramen. I also like to put a little bit of hot sauce on it. So I use French Red Hot because I don't like it to be too hot, but I do like a little bit of that flavor. And then this is optional too. I like to just throw a little bit of nutritional yeast on there, right on the top, mix it all together. And that is a, a bowl of ramen right there. Smells delicious, looks delicious. Ramen for one. All right guys, another very simple and cheap meal or snack, depending on how you see it, is, uh, so I have Heidelberg bread here. I tried the white one. I've never tried this one, it's really good. What we have here is some peanut butter and some jelly. Yes, I'm doing peanut butter and jelly. No, I'm not ashamed. And I got the heel of the bread, um, cause that's all that's left. A little bit more, there we go. Okay, now jelly, ready? Oh, you thought I was gonna do it the wrong way, didn't ya? No, you always put the jelly on the peanut butter. Put the jelly on the peanut butter like that. And this is a, this is a Wegmans brand strawberry. I'm very particular with my jelly and uh, they stopped selling this kind for a little bit so I had to stock up on it, but it's uh, strawberry preserves, a vegan there, and that's just the kind I like. And again, the peanut butter is just uh, the peanuts and a little bit of salt, and that's the only ingredients in there. And I keep that in the refrigerator. And there we go. I always cut my bread in triangles, but I guess it really doesn't matter when you're eating it. I'm kidding, of course it matters. You always have to have triangles. And there's a, there's a sandwich, you know? If you're really hungry, make two of them. All right, what I have here is very quick. We have some 
cut up peppers. We have some beans, different beans. And I also have some onion in there and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt. And this is a very, oh, and there's also corn in there too. And this is a little healthy meal that um, you can also put that over rice, whatever, it's cold bean salad right there. It's also healthy. Uh, no oil on this, quick meal. All right, so I'm gonna make some pizza. So I just made some dough and it has risen. Very simple ingredients, yeast, water, flour, salt, and a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna cut that in half. We're gonna make two pizza doughs out of this and then just kind of punch it down and we're gonna let it rise again. Very, very simple recipe here. I do have uh, several recipes online where you can make the dough, but those recipes all have oil in it. This, I took the oil out. All right, so we're just gonna put it back in here. We're gonna just put a cover back over it and I'm gonna do the same with this one. And we'll be back in like an hour. All right, the dough is risen. Here we go. We gotta turn it into a pizza crust. I like to use cornmeal. You can use flour, you can use oil. I don't like to use oil. Sometimes I use flour. I just get all the air bubbles out. And then I like to make the actual crust part of it by doing this. It's a job for my sleeves to be up. Pizza for one. You want to knead it enough so it's uh, stretchy like this. If your dough is falling apart and ripping, that means you didn't knead it. And it really needed you to knead it and you didn't. I have my oven on to a hot 440. And you can put this right on a pizza tray or I have right here this little screen, which I'm gonna put my pizza on. If you don't have one of those, you can use just a, a pizza sheet. I've never used this before, but I'm gonna try it out. It's a uh, just a vegan sauce. All right, let's just grab a ladle and spread it around the crust. Don't get it on the outside edges of the crust. There you go, perfect. I got a package in the mail today from Please, Please Cheese. So it's a plant-based cheese. That's what it looks like, Please Cheese. All right, we're gonna try this out. And I also have from Alpha Foods, they sent me these uh, meatless sausage crumbles. So I'm gonna throw that on there as well. When I have more than just one ingredient, this is how I like to do it. All right, so I'm gonna use about half of this and then for the meatless crumbles, quarter of the bag. And then I have here some, uh, let's see, can you see that? Kalmata olives. So I'm gonna take a, about that many and just kind of break them up, throw them in there. And then, there. Now all the ingredients will be spread out uniformly. A little bit of a, uh, Italian seasoning on there. And then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna sprinkle it on there. I actually haven't made pizza in a while. I'm always making pizza, but it's been quite a while here. There we go. Now we're just gonna put this in the oven. Okay, so those of you that have seen my pizza making videos, I like to take my pizza out halfway through uh, when it looks like this. Get a little bowl here, put a little bit of that sauce in there, about like that, that much. And then I like to put a little bit of water in there, water it down a little bit. And then we take a brush, mix it together. This is completely optional, guys. You don't have to do this. I just uh, started doing this a long time ago. I've worked at several pizza shops uh, when I was younger. And this is one of the ways that we made a certain uh, pizza. So I do that. And then while it's still a little bit wet, I got everything but the bagel that I get from Trader Joe's and I put that on the crust. And then we're gonna put that back in the oven. All right, there we go. Pizza, nice crust. Cheese melted really nice. That's, that's a pizza right there. Easy pizza, you could also even make your own cheese or not put any cheese on there in the first place. I've done that very often, just making like a tomato pie and put some veggies on it or something like that. So uh, the crust is very easy to make and just, you know, find whatever veggies you have around the house and a little bit of tomato sauce. Look at that. That is a nice looking pizza. All right, I'm gonna try it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. The crust is perfect. The cheese, the cheese is really good. Melts really nice. It tastes really good. That's a really good pizza. And guys, if you like these recipes, uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. Hit the little notification bell so you don't miss my videos and stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you like your meat dog treats? <laughs> Ruff, 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 ruff